Boom boom. 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 So that was a, a really good season for all of us. This year though, it is much more personal. This year though, I want to share a true story with you. This year, I want to tell you about a young hen harrier called Finn. Finn made life particularly worrying for us as she chose to spend a lot of time in and around the notorious Lead Hills estate. I remember so clearly the day the news came through. Everything seemed to lose its shine that day. Everything seemed a little duller. I received the update I had always dreaded but it means that I have some rather terrible news. The news I received was that a satellite tag had stopped transmitting on the 25th of March 2018. I will never know what happened to her. If she had died of natural causes, there was no need for a satellite tag to stop transmitting so suddenly. Her life mattered. She mattered to me. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you to those of you who've come for the first time today. That shows we're reaching out to more and more people. And I sometimes despair at the fact that Labour are a bit quiet on this issue. That events like this, people like you turning up, are still getting the attention of politicians. We need to grab their attention even more. Nobody can talk about grouse shooting in the way that they did five, ten years ago, as it being this quaint traditional British sport uh, that is lovely and produces lots of money for rural communities. There is a real conflict. You have to choose. Are you going to protect and wildlife, which in theory has been protected since 1954? If you're going to do that, you're not going to get much driven grey shooting. We are a force and we're a force for good and we're a force for nature so let's keep at it and stick together. Next year the plan is that there will be at least one Hen Harrier Day and it will be back at the Derwent Dam in the Peak District and it will be on the Sunday before the inglorious 12th. So whilst hen harriers bear the brunt of illegal killing at a population level, um, we mustn't forget about all the other birds of prey that are illegally killed and the habitats that in many areas of Artlands, not all of them, but many, and for want of a better word, are being vandalised, all in the name of intensive grouse shooting. And it's for their pleasure for killing that we destroy our raptors, that we destroy our habitat so they can go up and do a tin duck shoot and then you start to realise you start to realise that it's those people that are in control it's those people that mean we're losing the harriers it's those people that mean they're damaging our uplands it's those people who turn a blind eye to real justice they go up there they just shoot those grouse they don't care how they do it they don't care what's been done to enable them to do it but the people, the purveyors, the owner, the editor, a guy called Paul Dacre, what do they own? Grouse, Grouse, Grouse Moors. Moors. Give a big welcome to Yellow Williams! I love you too, Jeff. <laughs> I want your babies. <laughs> right, let's sort these buggers out, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Well, because the hen harrier truly is my favorite bird. But I was lying back and I had my elbows on my knees watching this bird come and it had a vole. It had a vole and I knew even then, I know what's gonna happen next. And my heart started to beat, it started to race. Because I knew I was gonna witness a food pass and up came the female off the nest. She then flipped over underneath him, took that vole, went off and fed while he circled and he then disappeared back over the moor like a ghost. I would love to say that the fact that I am being robbed of my hen harriers by these big estates, the fact that I am being robbed 
of my hen harriers by the keepers that they employ I'd love to say that it makes me very 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 angry it doesn't it really pisses me off but we also know that some of our Welsh birds go onto the Boland Moors and go onto the Moors of South Scotland there because they roost communally two three four five six pairs will roost in a small area on the floor the keepers know this rather than shoot a pair or shoot one bird from a pair they can shoot six birds and that is the drain for our Welsh birds so yes I am very very angry why have we not got golden eagles and white-tailed eagles in England and Wales I'll tell you why because of these big estates because of illegal bird of prey persecution that pure and simple is the only reason why we do not have these birds in southern Britain now what do we do about it well I tell you what if I was allowed to I'd walk into the Houses of Parliament with three pet wolves and four pet bears and let them go reintroduce them in there and sort them out Let's send a message to the people that kill our harriers, destroy our wildlife. We're not going to put up with it anymore. We're here to say enough is enough and we want our harriers back. But the inevitable end of the story is that driven grey shooting will end.